Like, this is coming from a drug addict, once an addict, always an addict, that is it, coming from a drug addict who has a child who's no longer with that person. I don't know the thing, but it's like, you have a child, you're not married to that mom, you have another girlfriend that's, do you know what I'm saying? And he acts like his is so perfect. And like, just looking at him, you know, he, he does judgments just by looking at our videos and just by looking at his videos, not his physical appearance, just like looking at his videos and looking at him. And the it's like, he looks tired, he looks worn out. Like, he acts like he's such an expert. So I am no stranger to Trisha Paytas making videos that should upset some people. So in this video, not only do I hope to offer some solutions for Dissociate Did from my own personal experience, but I think it's something that we can all learn from when it comes to maintaining our own mental health when stuff like this is going on outside of YouTube and in our regular lives. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you are like me and you are actively trying to improve your mental health, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And in case you missed it, in case you missed it, yesterday I uploaded a video where I interviewed a world famous psychologist about dealing with anxiety during this uncertain time. All right, his name is Dr. Judson Brewer. I will link that video up in the info card and in the end screen. Go, go, go check it out. Whether you're struggling with anxiety right now or you've struggled with anxiety for a long time, he is an amazing man when it comes to helping people with their anxiety. All right, so yeah, anyways, uh, I just saw that Dissociate Did just uploaded um, a video. Um, this comes after Trisha Paytas made her switch caught on camera video that was clearly upsetting. I had a lot of people from the community um, comment on the video I, I made discussing it and everything like that, but here's a clip of what the Socia did had to say about it. This Trisha Paytas stuff has hit our system real hard. We've seen a lot of other systems splitting, um, new alters being created, people saying that, you know, they ain't ever gonna tell anyone else about their DID. The other thing is, we were one of the systems who had a new split because of this stuff. We had a lot of flashbacks from watching um, her Dear Anthony video, which obviously was extremely aggressive. There was a lot of threatening behaviour, a lot of lunging at the camera, swearing directed particularly at us and at Anthony. So yeah, why, why am I making this video, okay? So this is something that I've personally been through um, during the time when Trisha Paytas made uh, her video about me, I had a lot of people from her audience come over and, you know, start leaving nasty comments over on my channel. I really hope this isn't happening happening to Dissociate Did or anybody else uh, who is talking about this right now because Trisha Paytas has been around for a long time. She has a very large audience and with that comes a lot of loyalty. So I, I feel like, you know, as somebody who's been through some of this, like I want to offer you know, Dissociate did if she ever watches this. Um, but also, I think it's important, like, I make videos for all of you, okay? All of you watching this. And we're gonna have people in our lives, whether it's friends, family members, coworkers, whoever it is, who are going to disrupt our mental and emotional well-being, all right? So, yeah, so obviously, you know, Trisha Paytas is going to make these videos and she's not going to stop. This is clearly a pattern of behavior, anybody who's been watching over the years. And like, as many of you saw from my last video, like that last video, it just, it really, it really bummed me out, right? Um, because the intention behind her video was, it was, it was just awful, okay? And something that I've had to learn through my own experience all over the place is, while we cannot control the actions of other people, we can control how we react and respond to them, right? Like the only reason I'm sitting here with seven and a half years sober after all the stuff I've been through in the last seven and a half years is because I've learned to let that kind of stuff roll off of my shoulders, all right? And although uh, Trisha said this in her last video about Anthony Padilla. You're on YouTube, guess what? People are entitled to say whatever the f 
they want about your video. It's called freedom of speech. You put something out there, get ready to be criticized, baby. All I said was like, yeah, like watching that, I could be like, oh, that girl seems crazy. You, you, you watched my video and you were, you made an assumption saying I'm mocking people with disassociative identity disorder. What the f did you f***ing watch it, you dumb little p She also has a pattern of behavior where she doesn't respond well to people replying to that. So something that I hope everybody learns out there, anybody watching this is when things like this are happening, like uh, Dissocia did, you know, obviously like she was talking about how she's been dealing with this and it's, you know, kind of messed her up um, internally and everything like that. Um, what we need to do is recognize what's going on within us and take care of ourselves in whatever way that we can. And it's not us, it's them, all right? Like, something that I always think of, something that I, I just never forget is when I was working at the rehab center, um, there was a kid and I, I'd only had him in like one of my groups, like maybe once or whatever. And I was waiting in the front lobby and I just hear someone cussing and screaming down the hallway and I'm just, I'm just sitting there waiting. I, for, I was waiting for somebody and I just hear somebody saying, F you, F your mom, F this, F that. And I just hear thump, 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 thump. And this kid gets right up in my face and says, and F you too. And he storms out, jumps over the front gate, leaves rehab, right? And and yeah, like it, it didn't affect me too much because I knew that it wasn't me, right? I happened to be the target, but it wasn't me, all right? I knew he was going through something. And actually, and this is something that's helped me be a little bit more empathetic, is he came back to treatment after a day or two, um, and he apologized to me. And he told me he was going through a lot of stuff. Uh, he was afraid to leave treatment. He didn't have much to go back home to, and all of that, right? Now, I wanna make it very clear. Although it, you know, it seems, and obviously I don't know Trisha Paytas, it seems as though she's not working on herself or going to therapy or anything like that. It is not an excuse for the behavior, okay? None of it's an excuse. Like I, for a long time, I leaned on my addiction and my mental health, uh, you know, or mental illness rather, as an excuse to be a jerk to people, lashing out on my friends, on my family members, just being an overall garbage person. And this has helped me kind of develop that empathy as well. Like I wanted to blame everybody else, right? And when I got sober, I was like, oh, you know, I was pointing the fingers like, maybe if my mom wasn't an alcoholic and she raised me right and all these da, 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 all these other things, then, you know, then I wouldn't have all these issues. You know what I mean? But then I had to look at myself in the mirror and realize like, I'm an adult. Like I gotta take care of this. Like nobody's coming to save me. I have to actively participate in my mental health recovery, right? So for me, it started out with 12-step programs, obviously, but since then, it, it comes in the form of meditation and journaling, talking to a support group, therapy, all right? If you are somebody who is struggling with like uh, uh, emotional issues, anger issues, whatever it is, like therapy, okay? And in scenarios like this, like I, I I've seen Dissocia did talk about how, you know, she gets her own help and everything like that. But for all of us who have friends and family members in our lives who, you know, uh, trigger us, if you will, or upset us, again, we cannot control what they do. All we can control is how we respond to this situation. And one way to respond is getting help, right? Is actively working on our mental health. You see what I mean? It builds up this sort of resilience. But Finally, and kind of lastly, is <clears throat> like, I'm, I'm not special, I'm not any better than anybody else, but over the years I've built up this kind of resilience. And responding to Trisha Paytas, like I'm glad Dissocia did said she's kind of done with this situation, um, is that Trisha Paytas will chase those views, chase that story, and everything like that. So hopefully, you know, that's not a response. Again, the reason I'm making this video is because I've been through it in the past. I've responded to it. Looking back, I probably could have done a little bit better, but I remember Dissocia did saying in her tweet, like at a certain point, sometimes we are getting upset for our community or our friends or whoever it is. You know what I mean? So for anybody else out there, if Dissocia did does not 
or, or decides not to make any more videos out on this. Like Trisha Paytas will run with this thing until it kind of dies out, right? Until she's not getting the views and not getting the attention on it and everything like that. So if you are somebody who struggles with your mental health and this is upsetting with you, for to you, cut it off, right? Like you can click on YouTube, like I do not want to see these videos or anything like that. Like there are plenty, plenty of people on the YouTube platform where I'm just like, I don't want to watch this stuff. It upsets me. And that's where it comes to us being very mindful of our own mental and emotional well-being. When it comes to the actual people in our lives, like people lose it on me. They absolutely lose it when I'm like, sometimes you got to cut them out. Like sometimes you have to cut people out of your lives. Like if they are regularly and frequently upsetting you, like no joke, when I was about a year, year and a half sober, uh, my mom and, and my relationship was still really on the rocks. And I said, listen, I love you, but right now, like I can't maintain a relationship with you. I said, I need to work on myself, right? Before we can continue this relationship. And now she's one of my best friends and we have a phenomenal relationship, but it took me working through some stuff. And one was realizing you either accept it, change it or eliminate it, right? Couldn't change it. Eliminating my mom out of my life 100%, difficult, but possible, but I worked on accepting it. And I realized this is who she is. She's, you know, 50 years old. She's not changing now. And I think that's a good thing to think about with Trisha Paytas. Like, do any of us really think that a video or a response or Trisha Paytas getting hatred on a video is going to change her? Nah. All right? So we... We either accept it or we eliminate it, right? We accept that she's going to do what she's going to do. She is not going to actively participate in her mental health, in her recovery, right? Or we eliminate it. We just stop watching. We don't pay attention to when people are talking about it on social media. We don't pay attention to videos like this, like the one I'm making right now. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, like I would love to hear from some of you in the comment section about setting those boundaries. Like wh who have you had to set a boundary with because they were regularly upsetting you, all right? I would love to have a conversation about that down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And don't forget, go check out the video I did with Dr. Judson Brewer. It is linked right, I think I'm pointing in the right direction. All right, go check that out. Thanks to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books or the Rewired Soul merch, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.